everyone and thank you for watching this video. My name is Jesus Nieves and I'm going to talk about the implementation in the client of the HDA based on the OPC Foundation libraries and finally the implementation in the HoloLens 2018 project. Carlos Mosquera from the summer semester 2017 developed the client of the HDA. To understand this video you need to know the basics of C++, C Sharp and OPC UA. Uh, the class OPC UA client it is composed with the different objects from the OPC Foundation libraries, such as application configuration, at, at point description, configure at, at point session, subscription, a list of monitor items, a flag to check the state of the connection, a string to show the connection error, and a list of the items to subscribe. Okay. For the constructor, the class uses an async task to create the application configuration and if there is an exception, it writes a line in the debugger. Alright guys, the async task, basically what it does is create the configuration of the application with the name of the application, the type of the application, the application URL, and the security configuration. That is an OPC Foundation standard required to connect to the server. Then validate the configuration, after that check if the application has a certificate, if not, then create a new application certificate. Then we have the uh, set, set at point method. This method discovers and selects the endpoint description based on the URL given as par parameter. If there is not uh, an add point, it will write an error in the debugger. The connect method takes the username and the password as parameters, then creates the session with another async task. Also, you can access to the server in mode uh, anonymous without the parameters. If everything goes well and the flag of the status connection is assigned with true. Here we have the create session task. To create the session you need the add point configuration and the add point description. Then here it depends if you are accessing with a username or in anonymous mode. The client also has a method to close the session and to keep alive the session if there is a disconnection. After that we have the method to add the subscription into the session. For this method it takes the publish interval as parameter and if there are data inside the container list, it will create the list of the monitor items with the name and ID. Okay, now we have here a method to display the different attributes of the items. Uh, this method, it iterates through all the lists and show the values in the debugger by taking the index of the, of the items and print it in the debugger and well this part is to are the methods to handle the different notifications uh, and now we have the this, this disconnect method to well to close the connection between the hololens and the server uh, and set the flag is connected to false and here we have the method to write and change a value of one item by taking the subscription ID and also we have the method to read uh, and access to one node and read the value when there, there is a change of the item taking the subscription ID as parameter and returning a, a string. Uh, at the end we have uh, two supporting classes to use the data of the items like the name node ID, value and status. Uh, well that's the constructor and the constructor with the copy constructor. Yeah. Finally after the breakdown of the OPC UA client class now we can implement it in our application for the class OPC UA input field manager. Here we have the attributes of the interface and attributes necessary for the monitoring of the items of the two servers. Uh, then we have the start method which it is execute only the first time you open the application. Here we have the URL of the two servers 
uh, the name of the of the items in this case of each station and the ID of the subscription um, well here we have for the optimize and for the normal server uh, then here we create the object of the OPC UA client and use the different methods that we that I explained before here we have the connect we connect the two the two servers and well it's your decision if you want to modify the the client of the HDA or implement your own uh, implementation and here it is the, our method read variable which takes the as parameters the the name of the item in the, in, in this case of the station uh, it takes also the subscription ID and the client we are reading also we have a method that starts to subscription that uh, takes the index and one image ok guys and this is everything of the video and good, dog, good luck with your project